on a scale of one to 10, how competitive are you? Are you constantly trying to look better, act nicer, or make more money than others? Do you ever get a feeling like you have to get yours before it all runs out? Maybe it's time to let go of that way of thinking. I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and the topic today is one of my favorites. I hope we all win. Why is it important to change our mindset on competition? Okay, now full disclosure, um, 15 years ago, if you would have asked me, I would have said that one of my best characteristics was how competitive I was. <laughs> And now I know uh, that that's just plain exhausting. Okay. So again, I'm going to ask, why is it important to change your mindset on competition? Well, competing is exactly what they want us to do. It keeps us in a fear state or in a place of lack if we think that we have to compete with each other. Okay, that's a big one to wrap your brain around, but that's what's really changed my mind in the last 15 years. I want us all to win. I don't want to think I'm better than anyone else, to fight to be better than anyone else, because that is a fear state, okay? Also, there is enough for all of us. We don't want the same things. So if you have ever, you know, followed The Secret and the work of Rhonda Byrne, you would know that um, saying because it's in there as well. But, you know, we all would like to drive an awesome car, but we all don't want a Mercedes, for example. So there is enough for us all. Now, I'm going to hit pause right there. Some of the elite 1% is keeping us in this fear state and controlling a lot of those resources and assets so that there is this feeling of lack. And if we can start getting out of that mindset, we can start taking some of our resources back. Okay. And that's a place of empowerment. Um, also cheering on others makes us, us and them feel good. It just feels better to be supportive to everyone. So here's a couple quotes. Big on congratulating people because this life isn't easy at all. I hope we all win. Unknown. And we are all winners here. Alfonso Ribeiro. So a couple questions for you. How competitive are you? And what do you think makes you that way? Have you ever thought about that? All right, I've got your back. I've got three today. Three ways to release the mindset of competition. Number one, embrace and celebrate imperfections. Yours, your imperfections, other people's imperfections, because no one should look the same or have the same skills, unique, is so much more fun. Number two, choose compassion and cheering over winning. It just feels good to be present for others, to be a cheerleader for others. It warms our heart, okay? Winning puts you in this isolated spot away from everyone else. And it just doesn't feel that great. Number three, have gratitude for the blessings that we have. Okay. You were given the looks you were given. You were given the attitude you were given. You were given the emotions you were given. You were given the personality traits you were given for a reason. That doesn't mean that you can't take inventory on that stuff and change anything you want to at any time. 
because we're on earth school. It's okay to grow and change. But a lot of those things that you've been given are blessings that you haven't had gratitude for yet. So circling around, I hope we all win. Which of these three ways to release that mindset of competition resonate with you? All right, here's our intention and it's easy. I hope we all win. All right, if you'd like to work on the emotions around competition, then reach out, book a session, and I'll have your back on that. Um, keep following me at, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and keep joining me for these videos because I appreciate all your time with me. It's a growth community. Love ya.